Good afternoon, everyone. This is The Doctor. It's another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest, and I hope wherever you guys are at right now, it is just as beautiful. It's about 1 p.m. in the afternoon here on Sunday, and I've spent a lot of my morning experimenting with the new Nox player and making sure that before I actually report any of this, that it does actually function as it was reported to me. So the new Nox player released an update last night, and... Effectively, with the update, it has made Multi actually very accessible for anyone who's using an emulator now. Um, I did experience some crashes with the Nox player, but a lot of that was related to my personal computer not being the best. So, just some perspective, I do only run an i5 on my computer, and I have 1080 and 16 megabytes of RAM. But you also have to consider that I do things like record, I alt tab into other windows all the time. And the only time I ever experienced a crash in probably the last four hours of my multiing was when I was in another window or adjusting some type of setting that could possibly inadvertently affect Nox. Uh, this was with Nox set as a high priority. So for those of you that aren't familiar, you can virtualize your computer and then you can set the priority of those virtualizations. So I set virtualization on Nox and I set the priority as high on my computer so that my computer would always prioritize keeping it running. So most of the time when it crashed for me, it was only specifically related to whenever I was adjusting a function or uh, specifically going into a Discord call for me or I was trying to do too much on my computer at once. Other than that though, whenever I had it open in the multi today, I would just be focusing on the screen and I never crashed directly while I had the application open. Always when I was doing something else, I was able to successfully macro it. Overall, I mean, compared to all the other emulators that I've used, I feel like I can confirm for the most part that Nox is actually the upgrade that recently just came out. Uh, actually works with War of the Visions and works with War of the Visions Multi. So for those of you out there who have been struggling for a long time, who have been really trying to find the emulator that's going to work for you, who have been really frustrated that you can't get into Multi, I would suggest downloading Nox. I would suggest making sure you get that update that just came out. Uh, it does have a feature where if you download Nox, you can overwrite the last install that you had, which is just what I did this morning. And then I just experimented with it, I played with it, I adjusted the settings. It did take a while for me to get the settings uh, just right for my computer. And I'll be honest, it didn't function as well as my phone being mirrored. Uh, so for those of you that uh, watch my stream, you know that I mirror my phone for the most part. Or I run um, soon to be a direct cable from my phone to the computer. So there's different things that are better, I think, than Nox right now. And I think playing on a phone is going to be better for Nox, especially for anything pretty much but if you guys are like me out there and you want to save your battery strength and you want to actually play, put the game on your computer and maybe have a phone for longer than a year um it's a great fallback and you can of course just auto farm the gold snappers so easily with it and it's just awesome i i'm so happy nox came out with this update um, I think it's probably specifically related to Exos Heroes, but it just so happens to have affected War of the Visions as well. So if you guys are wondering where you can get Nox, I am going to put the link down in my description down below. Make sure you go ahead and click that. And if you guys are having any other problems with Nox or any, maybe that's not your experience, make sure you're checking your hardware first. Uh, like I noted, I had crashes, but it was specifically hardware related and I could see that. Um, so please make sure... Uh, to drop the feedback on how it's working down in my YouTube comments and let me know. Thank you so much, you guys, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your Sunday, and I hope you guys are ready for Sunday news night. We are going to be streaming most of the night tonight from about 8 p.m. to 1 a.m. Pacific time, so I can't wait to see you guys there, and I hope you all have a good rest of your day.